Hi, I'm Lisa Bronner, and today we're going green with a conversation about Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. Now, Dr. Bronner's toothpaste differs from a lot of our cultural toothpaste norms, and I get a lot of questions about it. After all, we want our teeth to last us a lifetime. So to help us understand, I've invited a friend over. To me, this is my friend Marissa, but to many, she is Dr. Munoz, a dentist and orthodontist. How are you today, my friend? Good, and you? Good, good. Now, porque muchos de tus pacientes hablan español, vamos a publicar otro video con subtítulos. Sí, me pueden encontrar en Facebook o en Instagram. Now, Dr. Bronner's, after a lot of customer requests and careful development, in 2015, finally released toothpaste. And we released it in three flavors, anise, cinnamon, and peppermint. And coming in 2020 is a new flavor, which is spearmint. This has become the number one selling toothpaste uh, in the natural marketplace in North America. So before we get into the details of the toothpaste, we're going to warm up with some fast and furious questions for Marissa. How long have you been in practice? 12 years. When did you know you wanted to be a dentist? Ah, oh, lucky number 12. <laughs> I was 12 years old. That's a good number. Yeah. And what made you want to be a dentist? Uh, I guess I wanted everybody to be smiling. So healthy teeth. Super. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever brushed your teeth with Dr. Bronner's soap? Yes, I have. How'd and it go? Good. Well, I was camping. It was different, but I liked it. Good. You can do everything with it. Yeah. What's your favorite Dr. Bronner's toothpaste flavor? Peppermint. That's a popular yeah. answer. If you did not have access to a toothbrush, what would you use to brush your teeth? Mm, I think I would just keep on eating, but <laughs> you can eat uh, fibery stuff like apples, carrots, celery, and that'll take like the plaque off your, your teeth. That so is good to eating. know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now let's talk about Dr. Bronner's toothpaste in particular. We're going to start with the biggest customer comment that we get about our toothpaste, which is that it does not foam like conventional toothpaste. Yeah. Why does it not foam so much? Because it doesn't uh, have any synthetic detergents like SLS. Oh, sodium lauryl sulfate. Yeah. And uh, normally that that's what creates the, the bubbles. Uh, and we're normally accustomed to the bubbles in the toothpaste, but that's kind of like our mindset. That's the way we were taught while we were growing up, that if it bubbles or if it creates the foam, you're cleaning your teeth. But technically, it's not. So foaming and cleaning are not the same. No. Something can foam and not clean. Yeah. Something can clean and not foam. All right, there's glycerin in our toothpaste. And a question that's come up several times is whether glycerin has a negative impact on tooth enamel. Well, technically it doesn't because your enamel is like glass. So whatever's breaking it would be more abrasive instead of glycerin. An ingredient that's not in our toothpaste is fluoride. And that's kind of something you hear a lot about in the tooth realm. You don't need fluoride in your toothpaste because you can find it in water. So technically whenever you're drinking water, you're drinking fluoride. So we're already getting a lot of exposure to it. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So there are a few ingredients in the toothpaste that are unusual. I don't see them in other toothpastes. One of them is coconut flour. What yeah. is the purpose of the coconut flour? The coconut flour is going to help you take the plaque out of your teeth and helping with your toothbrush as well. And then what about aloe vera? Oh, because it helps soothe the gums. There are many things people want their toothpaste to do. And yeah. one of the key things is to remove plaque. Yeah. What's in the Dr. Bronner's toothpaste that will remove plaque? There's calcium carbonate and hydrated silica, which help uh, clean and it's, um, it removes the plaque from your, to your tooth. A couple other features people look for are whitening and breath freshening. What's in the toothpaste to do those things? There's bicarbonato. Baking soda. Sorry about <laughs> that. Yeah, and uh, menta crystals for your breath. The Dr. Bronner's toothpaste is 70% organic. The reason it's not higher is that it contains some really great minerals like calcium carbonate and baking soda and hydrated silica. These make for a really great toothpaste, but minerals cannot be organic. We could replace those with some plant-based ingredients and achieve a higher percentage of organic content, but it would result in a lower quality toothpaste. So Marissa, would you say that the different flavors are good for different, different people? Yeah, normally my patients, adult patients, ask for the peppermint. That and is the biggest seller, most yeah. popular. And then if they want to try something different, more fun, they'll do the cinnamon. And normally children like the anise one because it's, it's related to kind of like candy. 
So they, they think it's more fun for them. Yes, I have one of my kids describe the cinnamon as spicy, which yeah. would appeal certainly to some yeah. people, uh, but he prefers the anise as well, because yeah. it's a little bit mellower. Yeah. So do you have any tips or tricks for successfully brushing your kid's teeth? I would say uh, that the parent does it, because sometimes they get it like all over. <laughs> so what they can do is use a small uh, toothbrush with a small amount of toothpaste. Marissa, thank you so much for coming today and being willing to have this conversation yeah. for all of our customers. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I have a thank you gift for you. Oh my, I wasn't expecting gifts. <laughs> <laughs> They're made out of soap. Really? <laughs> so it's the perfect be biting me. <laughs> it's a perfect combination of my soap and your dentistry. Uh, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for this discussion about Dr. Bronner's toothpaste and I'll see you the next time we go green. <laughs>